Hey there, it's Walt. So I'm wondering, do you do it? I know I've been guilty of it from time to time lately. I'm talking about doom scrolling. You know what I mean. You get up in the morning and you open up your smartphone to the news and you start scrolling. And it's like one moment is more doom filled than the next. It's bad news after bad news after bad news with death and destruction and plague and mayhem and loss and sadness and destruction. And you just keep on scrolling. And maybe in a little while after breakfast, you go back to it and you scroll through some more. And after lunch, you go and you scroll through some more. And it's, it's almost magnetic. It's, it's a little bit like watching or having your eyes just turn toward a car wreck. Like you're just like magnetically drawn to the doom. Doom scrolling. It's a thing. Um, I actually saw it written up in the New York Times recently. So it has to be a thing. Doom scrolling. Get, getting caught in the vortex of all of the bad news. And you know, there's a wonderful phrase from uh, The Course in Miracles. We create what we defend against, which is to say that the more we focus on something, the more we push back on something adversive, the more it comes into our lives. And in the personal professional development world, there's that phrase, what we focus on, we see. And of course, what that means is that when we focus on what's not working well in life, when we focus on the bad, on the gloomy, on the doom, we see more of that. Whereas if we focus on the good, on what's working, we see more of that. And, you know, so in my work, in my coaching work, I'll often start off a coaching session by saying, you know, what's been working well? It's really good to start with the positive. And in this challenging time where there is so much bad news, where there is so much gloom and doom, I think that we need to actually create even better boundaries for ourselves around how we're consuming media. And for me, this just means creating structure, actual structure, rules, if you will. And so I limit myself to about 10 minutes in the morning in the news and about 10 minutes in the evening in the news and not late into the evening because I don't want to end my day that way. And then the rest of the day focusing on the things that bring joy, the work that we do, the relationships that we have. And so I want to invite you to think about whether or not you get caught in doom scrolling and what you might be able to do with it. Because that time where you may have enjoyed just sinking into the, into the paper, I know that's been the truth, truth for me, particularly on Sundays, kind of that luxuriating with the paper. That time that you used to enjoy the news, that perhaps even the, the joy of going through Instagram or Facebook, that time maybe you should redirect. You know, for me, it's about getting outside and taking a walk or sitting in my rocker and overlooking the sea or um, opening up my Kindle for a good book, but actually mindfully and intentionally creating new practices where the old practices of, of, of luxuriating the news might have satisfied. This time will pass and things will get better. And in the meantime, getting caught in the doom and gloom just leads to so much sadness and depression and overwhelm and gloom in our own lives. And we have an obligation to show up for those that we are serving, for those that we love and care about, and to do that at a high level. We can't possibly do that if we ourselves are filled with gloom and doom. So if you find yourself gloom scrolling, I invite you to create some different boundaries and practices that will help you to focus on the good. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.